Alright folks, welcome to another week of Canyon Outlaws. As always, we've got some grudge matches to kick off, so we're letting those not on the list do their call outs and we've paired a few up and they're into a full on list race. So this is, every driver on the list will be racing to hold their spot. Okay, we're going to kick off with the grudge matches. First up, we've got Binford 5000 versus Caven. And they're away. Binford out to an early lead. Can he hold on? Nicely through Cajuna Corner. Bit of a drift. Caven comes up behind, but cannot do it. Bobby Orr and Caven there was doing a great job, but just didn't have an answer for Tim Taylor there in the Binford 5000. He picks up yet another win. Okay, we go to race number two. This is Petit Meow versus Desert Rat. Fractal Panda on the outside. Early lead. Gets a head over the jump. Petit Meow spins. Desert Rat takes the win. Just a very nice drive there from Fractal Panda. Stayed nice and clean through Kahuna Corner. Cat Pirate got a little bit loose and that just cost him the race down the back end. So Desert Rat picks up a win. Much better performance this time around. Now, a new driver here, The Cure, had his first race last week and is a bit disappointing. Let's see if he's a bit better now. He jumps out to an early lead. Stays ahead of boxes, putting the pressure on, but he stays ahead through Kahuna Corner very nicely. Yeah, he did much better that time. He was only just ahead of TKO and Boxer really put the pressure on him going through Kahuna Corner, but he held his nerve this time and proved that he actually has good reason to be here. Nice race. Now Bad Apple versus Broken Wings. Griffin Cross on the outside there and Sweet Tea on the inside. Sweet Tea a little bit ahead coming through KM Corner. Over the jump. Oh and Griffin Cross with a stunning maneuver through Kahuna Corner there. What an overtake. Yeah that was just brilliant. He was just on her rear bumper there going into it but he forced his way up the inside, held on. Sweet Tea did everything she could to hold him out but he was just too fast. He almost lost it right at the finish, but congratulations Griffin Cross with a stunning race. Broken Wings takes the win. Now, we haven't seen Smoke Wagon for a while, so this is Gina from RTR versus Impalinator. Impalinator leading slightly through KM Corner. But here comes the Smoke Wagon over the jump. Oh, it gets a bit loose, and it's a race to the finish. And I think Gina just took that one. Gina was a bit behind, but she gave it the beans going over the jump. That threw the Impalinator out, she managed to get up the inside, but then somehow she gets a bit of a wobble coming out of Kahuna Corner here. You see it on this angle, gets a wobble on, gets her rear end up on the side of the track, manages to get it down, but Impalinator almost slipped by. Check this out, Gina by a bumper. That was awesome. That was a great race from Gina from RTR and Smoke Wagon there. Yeah, that was a great race. But now it's time to get super serious. Let's have a look at the proper list rankings. Right at the very bottom where we're going to start, we've got Mother Kanaka and Ratbird. So we're going to kick it off for those two. Ratbird only lost one race in the round robin to get on the list. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see how he handles himself tonight and if he moves up the list. So he's looking good. Whoa! What was Mother Kanaka up to there? Ratbird races down to the finish there. And Daddy G with a clean run, but the crazy Canuck there. Yeah, look at this, he comes down and it's like he's trying to mount Ratbird as he goes around the corner, but Daddy G and Ratbird holds his nerve beautifully, gives it the beans, floors it away and takes the win. So Ratbird, first to draw blood, but now he's up against the real racer. So he's up against Kit Kam and Raquel Rising. Kit's been working on this car hard ever since Sid stole and destroyed Eldardo. Let's see if he's got what it takes now. Even as they go through Cam Corner, Daddy G gets a slight lead. Cam right on his bumper, chases him down, but cannot take him out. No, Ratbird just got ahead there, and Cam did everything he could. He literally got right up on the back of the car there. But beautiful drive, Daddy G. Ratbird takes his first blood of the list veterans and moves up the list. So he now moves from nine to eight, and Raquel Rising drops down one. So he's up against his second list racer now. Jumping Spider, Sharon Tasha. It's been a while since we've seen his car. Daddy G quite a way out ahead. Oh, he spins, he's losing momentum. Where's Sharon? Nowhere to be seen as Daddy G crawls across the finish line. Oh, there he is there. I think he stopped for a coffee or something. 
Oh, no, he's stopping his talk to the fans back there. Seems a little bit premature mid-race to do that. I mean, it's great that he's making time for the fans, but you've got to win the race first. So, Daddy G and Rapper takes down another list veteran. Moving up now to number seven. Comes up against Big Mike from NZ Racing and Ugly Betty. Now, Big Mike had a spectacular week last week off track with his parkour manoeuvres. Let's see what he's got in the car this time. Well, Daddy G jumps out early. Huge lead. He opens the door, though, and Big Mike storms through. What a move by Big Mike from NZ Racing. Yeah, Daddy G had a huge lead here. I think he maybe just got a bit confident, goes a bit wide, leaves that door open, and Big Mike stormed right through it, took a beautiful win, and you cannot afford to make mistakes like that in these list races. So Big Mike from NZ Racing shuts down the newcomer. Rapid stays at number seven. So Big Mike takes on Nancy Wilson now. And Big Mike out of the gate like a rabbit. But here comes Nancy Wilson, Philip the Tank. Feeds at the Jandal. Oh, they get a bit loose coming out of Kahuna Corner and it's a race to the finish. But Nancy Wilson there just holding him out. Philip the Tank was really slow off the line. And then coming out of Kahuna Corner, they both get a bit sideways. They end up side by side in that final stretch. But a nice drive from Philip the Tank there and Nancy Wilson takes the win. And you know, that's the first win from the inside lane tonight. Every other race has been won by the driver in the outside lane, which is very interesting. Let's see if he keeps that up. He now takes on Glitch and Grinder. Grinder takes the inside lane. Oh, and Philip very slow off the line this time, and Grinder is away laughing. Miles in front. Oh, and he blows it. And Philip the Tank smashes into him. That's disappointing for Glitch there. Yeah, he had a huge lead, but look at this. He just bounces off the track, almost got it under control. But look how far ahead of Philip the Tank he was. But it doesn't matter. If you finish on your roof, you lose. So Nancy Wilson now moves up to fourth. Grinder dropping down to fifth. And that means he's now up against Guru's nephew, Dayton Daytona Johnsonson in 5-0 in the inside lane there. Whoa, and... Dating off like a shot there, absolutely storming ahead, not making a mistake, they glitched in so, just perfect line through Kahuna Corner, oh well, when he backs out, ready for his next race while Philip de Tank hasn't even finished. Yeah, that is just a perfect line through Kahuna Corner, and look at that, he's out of Kahuna Corner and out of shot before Philip de Tank even gets over the jump, 5-0 proving why he's number 3. But now he takes on one of the fastest cars at the canyon, Scud. Yeah, Scud has just been an absolute weapon on this track. So incredibly fast. Yeah, I mean, whatever Mike has been putting in that car has been working for him. And they're off. Into KM Corner. Dayton out in front. Mike spins coming over the jump. And Daytona takes another win. Yeah, they both got a bit loose going across the jump, but Dayton picked it up very quickly. Mike eventually got himself righted but he'd lost all momentum by that stage and Dayton ran away with it. That means Dayton takes another win, moves up to second place and takes on the reigning champion, Xanthope and Click. This should be a good one. So far, most of the wins have been in the outside lane tonight, but clearly Daytona hasn't been paying attention. He's writing his own rules. And they're away for the final. It's pretty even going down the first straight into KM Corner. Dayton gets ahead. Can he hold on? Nicely through Kahuna Corner, takes the win. 5-0 takes the win very cleanly. Again, a perfect line through Kahuna Corner there. Xanthope very nicely through as well, but just didn't have the oomph to get past him. To be fair, mate, he has got that car dialed in like a legend. And that means that he now moves up to the top spot on the list, the place where everyone wants to be. He owns it. Congratulations, Dayton. That was just a stunning bit of driving, mate. Your car is an absolute weapon. Yeah, well done, mate. And everybody, much better racing tonight and good to see the new guys coming up through the list. Good to see some of you really earning your spot on the list, claiming some new positions. And those of you that went down, you need to look at what your car's doing, try and get it sorted for next time. You don't want to keep going down the list because you'll be right for the picking from these new guys who are out to win it. Definitely. I know there are a few drivers there super hungry to take you guys down, but that'll have to wait for next time.